Oops, wrong one. This video is a closer up look at the controller and closer up look at two accessories that you may find interesting just for the controller. The heft, the thickness of this box reminds me of an iPhone box. It's like opening a present. The black and white combination with silver tone to it, I really like it. Wow, there's weight to it. This feels premium compared to the standard stock Xbox controller. The thumbsticks feel better. The flicking, the bouncing, and the feel are really nice. I like the rubberized grip handles. I'll be installing the paddles as well. Pretty tactile tiny buttons. Trigger stop switches for more or less rapid presses. It's sleek, feels good in my hands, feels really compact, but very solid. Like gripping a car steering wheel or a leather steering wheel. The buttons are good. A directional pad feels good. Very comfortable in the hands. Again, I really like the thumbstick feel. The flicking, the bouncing, they, they feel really nice. Again, I want a closer up look. I believe some of you really want to see it up close. See what else comes in the box. It's a USB-A male to a USB-C male. Thumbstick tension control key, a user menu. I'm gonna flip through the pages for you all to see and pause anywhere you want to. For charging and even wire controlling, I do have something for that. I don't have an Xbox, but I do have a mini computer. You could see it here on my channel. Again, pause the video wherever you want. I will be showing you the third-party thumbsticks and replacements and paddles you'll get to see in a moment. Just this last page. Thumbstick tension control key and warranty booklet. Just one more quick look around. The build is really good and feels great in my hands. Here's how I see it. At my age, I need every advantage to get over you guys, youngsters, gamers out there. You can call me an old man gamer. Sadly, the black and white silver tone version that I have here does not come with all the accessories. But I do have a third-party accessories, 3.5 millimeter head jack, an expansion port for chat headphone. Obviously, they designed this to be recyclable. The measure of this cable is about nine feet long. I do have some special extra accessories. This one is a magnetic USB-C adapter that does 10 gigabit per second. Data transfer and power delivery of 100 watt fast charging even. I can't play with this L-shaped version while it's connected. But I do have these for later in the video. So this one is just going to be for charging. So let's take a look at the accessories. This is a replacement buttons kit for the controller, an aftermarket. And here's the company's name. It comes with six metal magnetic thumbsticks, four pedals, 
two D-pads, two thumbstick bases, and one adjustment tool. They do feel high quality. Stick is coated with rubber. Can't tell the difference. This is chrome plated and it's a bit darker than the one on the controller. Here are the paddles. I don't have one to compare with, so I'm going to assume they are pretty much the same. I really don't want to prolong the video, but I believe some of you guys really want to see the, all the accessories as up close as well. Again, they look pretty high quality to me. This is also what I want, so I'm going to replace it. I like it better than the pancake D-pad. I could also use these for my other electronic stuff. So this is the first time I'm putting these pedals on. Take a look. And you could already tell that I'm putting the wrong one on the wrong spot, in the wrong spot. It's also magnetic, but still I'm installing in the wrong spot. And here's where I should realize it. Notice the ellipses, the three dots right in the middle. You can charge the controller if you have a charging dock. This black and white version does not come with it. The black version does. Shorter ones on top, longer ones on the bottom. Unless you want to use the P1 and P3 buttons only. Therefore, you could technically use the longer ones there. Hmm, that's an idea. Wow, they do feel really good. And they look pretty cool. I am getting rewashed for these back paddles to map them to keyboard on PC. They look really good. Feel really good too. I must say, I really like this controller. It feels great all around. Yes, I have gone and tried customizing my own, but the color combination that I like in the end is similar to the one that you see here. They did a pretty good job choosing this color combination. I love everything magnetic. The original D-pad plate, uh, when you press the diagonal direction it feels a bit mushy so this is more certain when you press up down left right when I need to go diagonally then I'll use it take a look at the adapter it has very strong magnetic and comes off nicely preventing the controller from going flying yeah, going flying. And it does power delivery up to 100 watts and a USB 3.1 data transfer of 10 gigabit per second. The replacement D-pad looks just the same, but darker. Here's the replacement and here's the OEM. Can you tell the difference? Wow, I can't, even the rubber, the texture. Click in almost the same, but feels the same. Maybe the magnet is different. The original clicks in quicker. That's why it's a replacement, right? And here's the taller stick. I'm not sure what games I would use this for. Flight simulation? Combat? Space combat simulation? Reminds me of the Atari 2600. Those who are old enough would know what I mean. 
Anyway, that is the closer up look of what I have. Thank you for watching. I hope you do come back.